Kate's assistant, Katie, stacks layers of chocolate cake with chocolate frosting to begin assembling the two-foot-tall base that will support the dog cake. Once the cakes are stacked, Kate carves the final shape of the tier. She covers the chocolate cake with chocolate ganache, a simple mixture of semi-sweet chocolate and heavy cream, and then her assistants add on a layer of white fondant. Kate's assistants stack the two tiers. Then they decorate them with yellow stripes and flowers made of fondant. Meanwhile, Kate begins molding the dog's legs out of cereal treats. Once the treats start to sit up, then I can carve it away so it really looks like the shape of a little puppy belly. So we're just putting some icing on here and then we're going to put our base for the cakes. So the cake isn't going to go directly on this board, it's going to go on foam cork. Kate stacks and carves the chocolate cake layers, then adds a layer of modeling chocolate. As she covers the cereal treats with modeling chocolate, Kate also continues to adjust the shape of the head, trying to match Zoe's Springer Spaniel as closely as possible. It's a group effort to put the head on the dog's body and attach the chocolate ears. Everybody grab a piece of chocolate, stick it in where it needs to go. I have, so try to keep it on okay, the inner side. They reapply another coat of modeling chocolate, reattach the ears, and get ready to paint the dog spots. This is kind of cute right here, this like a little saddle thing. What do you think of that? I like the saddle. I like the saddle too. To speed things up, all four of them paint the dog cake, and then it's finally ready for delivery. didn't paint any of the blue sparkle on because we ran out of time, but I think it worked out so much better this way that she got to participate in it. In fact, it's like actually a good idea. I think we'll use it in the future, but it's great. I think it all had a happy ending. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi.